Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer. So if you're a Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Cancer, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it apply. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. I post new videos every single day. Loyalty, romance, true love. Wow. Bottom of the deck is commitment. Someone wants to prove to you if they actually care about you this person is fantasizing about you a lot they are thinking about you a lot could have ghosted you but yeah there's a lot of daydreaming dreaming about you this person is doing it's almost romanticizing about you a lot feels a bond with you like no matter how much distance is there between the both of you they feel a strong bond between the both of you like the bond is there it's possible this person had cheated you in the past or put you in a third party situation, had their options open, whatever. But yeah, this person is desiring you a lot. They're desiring you, they're admiring you. We also have the soulmate card here. Right? Sorry, I'm adjusting the light here. The soulmate. So yeah, in both these cards, there's this infinity symbol here, right? You both could be going through a transformation because the, this reminds me of the number eight, which is eighth house Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person is uh, thinking of communicating with you. It's very possible you missed some red flags when it came to this person. You were the one probably who really fantasized about this person a lot. You thought this was the love of your life, the romance of a lifetime that sort of an energy until you realize this person isn't treating you the way you should be treated could be anything as i said options cheating third party what have you this person is secretly watching you watching you and admiring you from a distance they are studying you almost the word i got is studying i heard studying your loyalty i don't know what that means is this person trying to see whether you have already started dating someone whether whatever you said to this person whatever however you came across to this person whether you are truly that person or not this person is trying to study that you could be taking care of yourself a lot i mean not a lot but you are trying to take care of yourself taking care of your looks and everything we do have at the bottom of the deck last here also 
so yes uh, if you are taking care of yourself taking care of your looks going out working out and you are posting all of those pictures this person is feeding a lot of desire for you looking at all of that this doesn't even have to be like you posting pictures, but this person like in general has a lot of desire for you. Also, this card always reminds me of the devil because of the two horns here. So yeah, this, this could have, there could have been some sort of codependency, some toxicity in this connection, definitely. This person also yeah see the red flag card fell so you might have really missed those red flags when it came to this connection for some of you if you are looking for like if you are posting good pictures of you uh, like you're out with your friends you are working out all of these pictures if you're posting those pictures this person is quite jealous imagining that you are getting attention from the opposite sex that people that the opposite sex actually wants you want to date you or you could already be dating someone. Even if you post any vague pictures, this person just Im imagines things like, they just imagine situations around that picture. Situations that might not be true at all, but yeah, this person imagines those things. So a lot of seven of cups kind of energy, right? I think you doubt that whether this person ever loved you or not. I was just talking about the devil, right? I have shuffled these cards, uh, right? So I pre-shuffled these cards before recording. But yeah, the devil. And I was just talking about the last card here and the devil. Right? They are pretty hooked to you, hooked to your energy. See the devil really just, no matter how many times I cut the deck, you see the devil here. Third time, third or fourth time I'm seeing the devil almost. Okay, so we have the six of cups okay so we do have two cards here seven of wands six of wands queen of pentacles all right nine of swords what do we have here Hmm. Bottom of the deck is Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, oh wow, Ten of Pentacles and Justice. You are going through a divorce. This person is going through a divorce. This person was already married. They were married to you. And it, like, I mean, could be both ways. This person was married to you. You both uh, were married to each other. And right now, going through a divorce or something legal, some legal case here, um, or legal situation, legal case, or this person was married to someone else. And this was a third party situation. Justice and Ten of Pentacles is totally some legal situation going on in a commitment, in a possibly a marriage. 
and with the nine of swords nine of swords judgment knight of pentacles Eight of Pentacles. Can't see that, can you? Well, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Bottom of the deck, we have Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Bottom of the deck is death, transformation. I was just talking about, I did talk about the eighth house, Scorpio house, house right? Going through transformation and death is, talks everything about transformation. Magician, Chariot, High Priestess. All right. Okay. You, uh, bottom of the deck, we have three of cups, and I just saw two, two, two. Okay, we have the Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This talks about reunion. This talks about a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. And we did see the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Alright. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, Cancer. Pisces, another cancer that is, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, and yeah, that's all the major arcanas we have here. This person um, was stuck, they, they were defensive when it came to this connection, they had their guards up. This person also would have done a little bit of this hot and cold kind of thing because they missed you they felt a connection with you they felt a soulmate connection with you they wanted your attention but at the same time when it came to them opening up 1331 which is a mirror number them opening up them giving to this connection this person was very very defensive now as i said for some of you this person was already married or like, like they were in a marriage with someone else and that is why they couldn't really open up to you. They sure they felt a connection with you and they were missing you and they were thinking about you and they were communicating with you, flirting with you, whatever. They were doing all of those things with you, but they couldn't clearly open up completely because they were already in a connection. For the others of you, this person was defensive themselves. They were not ready to open up, but they wanted you to keep investing in this connection, which simply means you were the one who was putting in all the effort when it came to this connection, while this person was just for the attention. Uh, six, six here. Okay, so the number six, three could be important. So this person wanted your attention they wanted you to keep investing in this connection because they did feel a connection with you but when it came to them investing this person didn't keep their words now in the present moment we that's judgment here 
judgment dogs seven of wands and judgment this person is going through a spiritual awakening and they are they want another chance with you judgment is all about second chances judgment is all about second opportunities rekindling and we also had the three of cups at the bottom of the deck right this is reunion this is rekindling so revisiting this connection this person wants that nine of pen nine of swords here <laughs> they are in a lot of stress a lot of trauma um they are not they're not really well they're stressed they're very very stressed they're losing sleep, losing their mind, thinking about you, thinking about everything that's happened here. This person could also be feeling very desperate when it came, comes to this connection. And it's because they want this second chance with you so desperately It's, they keep, I'm trying to find a better word than just losing their shit, but I can't. So that's how I'm going to phrase it. This person is, um, they're losing their shit. And this is what I said. Like if you're posting pictures, if you're putting up pictures, like any picture at all, even if it's a coat or a random picture of your dog or a cat or whatever you got, uh, but this pe person is already imagining stuff there. They're already imagining you spending moments with someone else, you being happy with someone else, that sort of a thing. It's like creating unnecessary fake scenarios. Also, whatever memories you have, like memories you shared, the connection you shared between the both of you, it really, really haunts this person. Every night they go to sleep, they can't sleep, they wake up and those memories are still there. It's also this very possible this person is, hmm, I heard they are dreaming about you, but in their dreams, they see that they are losing you. They have lost this opportunity with you. You are gone. You are, like, you have already said your goodbye. I don't know, like, I'm getting this weird vibe from this nine of swords. And this one card is really, really drawing all my attention here. And I feel anxiety i feel it when i'm looking at that nine of swords i feel a knot in my stomach i feel a little claustrophobic when i'm looking at that card nine of swords this person okay so this person feels like they are caged i don't know why they feel if, if this person is in a third party situation they were married to someone they were they were in a marriage with someone else this person feels that that marriage that relationship that commitment felt like a cage to this person 18 18 all right well i'm going to look at the other cards and stop focusing on just that nine of swords this person is also suffering from a lot of anxiety they might suffer from anxiety anyways you could also be suffering from that anxiety because I did see the mirror numbers. So you could be mirroring each other a lot. Now we have the eight of pentacles. Like this person, what is it with the devil? This is a different deck, right? This is a different deck. I wanted to shuffle the deck so I cut it and here we have the devil. There's a lot of codependency issues here. Also, as I said, I did mention this person felt caged in that other relationship or commitment. This can totally be an energy of this person feeling caged. Hmm. Huh. Well, this here's what I'm getting. This person felt caged in that relationship, but with you, they felt different. But with you, they felt a connection. Something they didn't feel in the other relationship. Sometimes the energies are so strange in these readings. And I feel like I'm all over the place. Anyways, Knight of Pentacles, this person does want to uh, 
make a move they do want to come towards you it's going to be a very very slow movement but they do want another chance it's plain as daylight we have the eight of pentacles here the hierophant the five of cups eight of wands they want to communicate Eight of Wands is plain and simple communication. Five of Cups, they feel hella pessimistic about this uh, communication. And that is one of the reasons why this communication isn't already coming. It's not already here. Because this person is just being pessimistic about this communication. And this could be because the Hierophant talks about... I'm sorry you can't see the, the cards from this angle, but I don't... Yeah, now you can see it a bit. Sorry for that. The Hierophant talks about marriage, right? So Hierophant, this person is, if they were married to you, they want another chance with you. They don't want to let go of this marriage. They don't want to end this marriage. They don't want divorce here. Now, if you, if this person was married to someone else, then I don't know, like this person doesn't think relationships are good. This person have, like because they felt so stuck, so caged in this relationship, in this marriage, they already were. This person, they think marriage as something that is like a cage. Their opinion, their way of seeing marriage is very... like like they are going to be controlled they are going to be caged they they are they, their freedom will be taken from them for some of you this person is trying to get out of the out of the that anxiety that um sleepless nights losing their mind losing their sleep simply by walking a lot so this person could be like doing a lot of overtimes trying to work they are trying to work as much as possible just so that they are distracted from whatever is happening here whatever is happening in this connection they want to keep themselves distracted from the pain the agony they feel i'm sorry but the nine of swords is really it's it's draining me right now because I'm trying to tap into the energy here, right? So it's draining me. So this person wants to really distract themselves and they're trying to do it by working on their money. This a person is working their ass off. I don't think I'm supposed to say that here, but yeah, they are. I, I don't need to clarify anything here, actually. It's, it's pretty simple, but messy. This, this energy is simple yet messy. That's contradictory. All right. You could have already blocked this person. Uh, let me check that nine of points actually. Can I tell that nine of points please? Can I tell that nine of points? Yeah, this person feels like you have already bought, blocked. Bought blocked them and you already have shifted your attention to someplace else yeah see death which is transformation you are going through a huge transformation you are letting this death also talks about like not literal death but death of this connection and this person feels like you are letting this connection go and you are yeah see as i mentioned at the beginning of the reading you could be really taking care of yourself um making sure that you know yeah eight of pentacles working hard on yourself taking care of your looks taking care of your body working out posting pictures of that going out with friends having fun the queen of wands is a very fun loving energy the queen of wands is also she has a she has people almost running after her because she's that attractive and this person sees you like you have blocked them and you are letting this connection go while you're looking for other options because you are the queen of wands. You're just working hard on yourself. The only effort you want to put in is in yourself. 
you could also be really focused on their money which is again a mirroring energy because we do have the eight of pentacles in their energy and we have the eight of pentacles now here too in your this, this i'm talking about your energy so yes you are mirroring each other you both this person is trying to work their ass off because they want to f forget you they want to stop being so anxious they want to stop losing their mind you are working hard because you want to manifest a brand new beginning for yourself they are very aware that your defenses are up that you are very guarded you have blocked them and this person is trying to manifest look at that the high priestess okay you can't see that priestess yeah the high priestess talks about silence this person wants to break the silence the true intention is they want to break the silence the magician the chariot they want to manifest a new beginning here they want to manifest movement here this the magician and the chariot movement this person is really trying to manifest movement because they feel this connection has come to a standstill almost like there's no movement here there's silence there's no movement you could you both could be literally in no contact and this person hates that there's no communication right now or there's no forward movement right now and all they're trying to manifest is forward movement Really? Five of Swords and the Moon? This person doesn't want you to be single. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Emperor. They don't want you to be single. The Emperor flipped in this, like it almost, you couldn't probably see it, but it almost flipped like 360, 360 degrees. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck and the Nine of Swords again. I don't like this energy. I don't. They hate seeing you getting so much attention and they almost want to control you. They want to have your control, have their control back. I don't know, I'm getting this weird imagery of claws of, of a animal, right? They want to... Did I mention uh, at the beginning of the reading this person could have fed on your energy? They want that. They want that back. They want that power back. They want to feed on your energy. This is an energy vampire probably we are talking about. And see, the emperor itself is a good energy. But we have the five of swords, the moon, the nine of pentacles in reverse, the emperor. No, this, this person wants their supply. And they are going to try. I do not like this reading. I do not like this energy. Um, they want to come back into your life. And, and just want you back by any means possible. This person will try to manipulate you as much as possible because they want you back. I did mention at the beginning of the reading, um, this person will want to prove, someone wants to prove their loyalty to you. This person will really try to go to any means possible, any extremes possible to prove to you that they are loyal to you. Because they do not like you being single. They do not like you being queen of wands and having everyone's attention. 
it's almost like this person wants to claim you like i don't know just take it how you feel you could be dealing with a pisces or another cancer also this person feels they question you they question your loyalty I, I guess I mentioned that at the beginning of the reading like this is that energy of them questioning your loyalty they feel like you are hiding something they feel like you are sneaking and meeting other people dating other people hooking up with other people sleeping around and that is why they want you back the emperor can be very controlling if they want to. <sighs> yeah, I was just thinking about that. I was just going to say have your boundaries. If you feel like this person isn't healthy for you, block them. I was going to say that, but I thought let's pull an advice for here, for this spread for cancer. And here we have the seven of wands. Block this energy here. You need to. You first need to heal yourself. And don't, do not give your energy to the sneaky person. dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries well that's your reading cancer I hope you found some clarity through this reading I'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye